Well, good afternoon from the Bowls Australia headquarters for uh, my monthly update. Uh, it's been a busy period over the last couple of weeks. We've had uh, a number of meetings here at Bowls Australia. Our board met on August the 30th and a number of our committees also met, including our Audit Risk and Policy Committee and also a new committee which is called the um, National Membership Capitation Review Panel, uh, which also met on the 29th of August. The board uh, focuses very much on the strategy, our uh, Bowls Unleashed, our 2018 to 2022 uh, strategic plan. So uh, updating and just checking in about how we're traveling as, as a sport from a national level. The two committees that I mentioned, uh, the capitation review panel is uh, met for the first time and is looking at the capitation uh, project around Bowls Australia and how we charge our state and territory associations. And it very much was around uh, the services that BA provide to the STAs and doing a fair bit of work about how uh, we can improve that uh, structure and payment method. And that potentially could flow onto uh, from the STAs down depending on uh, what model we uh, end up landing on. Uh, that won't take effect for BA and the STAs until 2019-20 and um, there'll be certainly more discussion, debate uh, and hopefully a recommendation will be finalised at the uh, 2018 uh, State Consultative Body which will be held on October the 25th. And speaking about that, we've got uh, our SCB and the AGM, which is on October the 25th on the Gold Coast. Uh, also the National Awards Night, which again is our annual awards function, uh, information details on the national finalists, uh, the venue, ticketing, etc. will be uh, released very soon. Suffice to say, it's going to be a great night because we're going to be recognising the Australian Jackaroos and their they're all conquering uh, success at the 2018 Commonwealth Games and players, officials, coaches will be present on the night. So I encourage, if you're interested in attending, keep a close watch on bowls.com.au for ticketing information. It's gonna be a very special night. Coming up in the months of October, November and December, we finish the year off with a lot of, uh, a number of national events. Uh, first one being the Under 18 Championships at Capella Bar, just out of Brisbane, uh, which is eagerly uh, contested across all states and territories. Uh, the next event after that is the Champion of Champions, uh, which will be played at Kingborough Bowling Club uh, near Hobart in Tasmania. The event after that will be our uh, Senior Sides Championship, again a highly, hotly contested event across states and territories, and that'll be in South Australian country at the Moontar Memorial Bowling Club and the Wallaroo Club, uh, a very good bowling uh, area in South Australia, so we look forward to, um, to that event. The Bowls Premier League comes up again in November, BPL uh, number eight. Uh, teams have been announced, information's available on our website. Uh, again, once again, we've got a fantastic field of players and um, the best of the best from right across, not only Australia, but also across the world. And um, that will be a fantastic event at Club Pine Rivers, uh, just outside of Brisbane in, in Queensland. And to see the year out, the Australian Championships at the wonderful Club Sapphire in Marimbula. Uh, great event we had there last year. Again, hotly contested, all the state champions coming together uh, for that event in early December. So look, a busy period ahead for the sport. Um, as we get towards Christmas, uh, it's gonna be a busy time. Uh, best wishes to everyone out there in, in Bowls world and uh, look forward to updating you again next month.